Ephesians 1 verses 3 and 4. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. I have been so blessed by your comments. Please keep commenting. It inspires me and it helps me to see how else we can look into new things. Share also. Share these videos. Let us keep the word spreading that others might be blessed. So let's talk about this scripture today. Were you one of those whom, as a child, you would participate in those team games? We're not talking now about the formal games. We're talking about the games when, you know, like cricket or, you know, I mean, tennis ball cricket or, you know, football or some of those games where they would usually have two persons who would be the team leaders and then those persons had to pick the persons they wanted on their side. Yes, I don't know, some of you may have been the ones who you would always be picked first or in the first set. But there were some, some of us, depending on what it was, that, you know, we would languish and wait and hope to get picked. And sometimes there'll be one who would not really get chosen, you know, but by default, you end up on a team because you're the last person left. And of course, you know, that can be a little debilitating for your sense of self, your esteem. But I'm excited about this word today. I am chosen. I didn't end up here by default. I was not the last one standing, and so I had to be taken to make up number. The Bible says that God chose us from before the foundations of the world. He chose us in Christ to be holy and blameless. Yes, you're not a child of God by chance. You are chosen, and you are chosen to be blameless, to be holy. You are chosen to represent Christ. You are chosen to be an ambassador. Now, people choose persons because they see value in them. They see potential. They have expectations. Well. God, who knows everything, chose us. The God from whom nothing is hidden chose you. He knew everything about you before you were conceived. He knew everything you would be, everything you would do. Yes, he even knew the mistakes that you have made and the ones that you will make. And with all that information, he chose you. Really, I don't know why he chose me. But I'm glad he did. I'm glad he chose me. I'm glad he saw something in me to choose me. And so even in my lowest day, when the enemy would try to destroy my self-esteem, to make me feel as if it's a waste of time. I remind myself and I remind him, I am chosen. God chose me, for you are a chosen generation. 
a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yes, we are chosen, we are special, we are chosen to be blessed, chosen to be blameless, chosen to be holy, and by God we shall be. Let's talk about it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. God bless you. Oh.